Hey guys, this is Foolish Portal 42 back with some more Diablo 2 Resurrected. And we are in um, the Rogue Encampment in normal difficulty. And you're thinking, but aren't you level 33? Why are you still in normal difficulty? Because we're going to do something that Blizzard really <laughs> had a chance to... Um, I mean, it could have just, I mean, it is kind of a joke, um, but it's like probably the best joke ever. In uh, Diablo 1, in town, there were some cows, and if you clicked on them, they moved. And there was this kind of um, internet myth that said, if you click on the cows enough, something's going to happen. You know, like... You know, another area is going to open up or they're going to drop something, but it was just a hoax. So Blizzard, when they made Diablo 2, decided, you know what? Let's make a secret cow level. And they could have just said, you know, okay, it's just going to open up this little secret cow level. It's not, there's nothing in it, blah, blah, blah. You know, or, you know, like you can go in there and kill stuff, but it's not anything special. But they made it special. It's uh, not only is it actually a really good place again to level and get items. Uh, it's they're actually the cows are actually some of the highest level creatures at the end of that difficulty. So once you kill Bale <clears throat> in a difficulty, you can go into. Um, um, the Rogue's Encampment get Wurt's Leg from Tristram in, on that level. <clears throat> Toss him into your cube and hit Transmute. And you get the Secret Cow Lump. So what we're going to have here <clears throat> are these huge dense packs of level, I think they're like level, like 30s-ish, and they drop pretty good stuff, I mean that's a skull, that's worth, it's, uh, I think like a couple of thousand gold. And there are some, uh, classes that do exceptionally well here. Uh, we're going to do okay. We're not going to go like absolutely. I was going to say hog wild, but I thought that was a little too on the nose. Um, I, I can't think carry more staff, maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> Another set item for our collection. <laughs> but um, the character that really does well here is well, the sorceress obviously does really well. Uh, and the um, um, Lightning Fury Amazon, holy cow, uh, she really wrecks. But yeah, these cows can literally drop almost anything, um, you know, level specific anyway. And they're absolutely flipping hilarious. I mean, with Pierce, I mean, we're killing stuff that's, like, even off-screen. There's a reflex bow. Like I said, um, dense packs of mobs. And, um, 
Yeah, we're not getting a lot of experience for him, though. Um, we're kind of accidentally over... Well, I didn't accidentally, but we kind of overleveled a little for, for really good results. Wow, getting junk on the war staves. Uh, there's bolts. Can't believe there's not been any air. Oh wait, there. It's like I know I saw some arrows. And Creed's crow bill. Yeah, not not great, but we're keeping it for my collection. So we're pro um well, you know they can drop some exceptional stuff. So this is uh, they're just a couple of levels higher than Act Five uh, content, so Specifically, I'm looking for a pike. Uh, that would be very nice. That uh, that just dropped. That just dropped. That just dropped. <clears throat> Greetings. That just dropped. <clears throat> well. <laughs> uh, a soul rune plus nine to minimum damage. And weapons. That's really good. Uh, so, <clears throat> that is another item off my list. <laughs> or, well, you know, shit. Um, reality or, uh, yeah, we don't, we shoot. So I want to make my insight first. Nah, I want to make lore first. So, an Ort rune and a Soul rune will make uh, a pretty nice you know, lore. Plus one to all skills. Into energy, which will give us a little bit better mana pool. Lightning resist. Damage reduced by 7, which is pretty good. Another plus 2 mana and the light radius, which is good. So our um, mana per kill can't believe that drop. I mean, <laughs> I just ah, uh, my mind is absolutely blown. And uh, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, goodness. Alright, so. <clears throat> we got plus one to every skill that we have put points in. So that not only increased our exploding arrow, it increased our freezing arrow, increased our Valkyrie, increased our pierce, our crit strike, which is only for... Uh, regular damage, like base damage, but that also kicks up Valkyrie's stuff. Decoy got 
a point. All of this stuff got points, so it's... You want plus to skill levels, plus to Amazon skill levels, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, and we got over 200 mana now, which is nice. Whoa! The Halberd. But yeah, this is, um, if you've got a, a build that is, oh, wow, uh, uh, mana per kill, um, this is the area to do that. Let's see how much mana per kill. I think we can go into advanced stats here. Four mana per kill, but we're going to be increasing that um, also. Battle bow, I don't need that. There's a ruby, I'll take that. Do I want... Uh... Um... Yeah, she just gets so much life and defense, and yeah, the Valkyrie's just absolutely a monster. Um, whoops. I think I'm only gonna... I can't carry anymore. No. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, Lightning Fury Amazon... Uh, she can come come in here and absolutely just uh, just by the way the the way that um, lightning fury works. Um, just throw throw some uh, some javelins around and just uh, you know just walk around and loot stuff. <laughs> Not to mention, cows are absolutely hilarious. And there is also a named... Like, none of these will ever be... Uh, like, bosses, I think. Um, like, uh, there won't ever be, like, a unique pack of... Cows? I don't, I don't think. I've never seen one. Uh, or I haven't seen one that I recall. Let me say it like that. But yeah, uh, cows can drop soul runes. Uh, good to know. <laughs> Not enough I mean, I'm killing stuff off screen, which is absolutely hilarious. Ooh, a 
do you want? A gnarled stack. I still can't believe how bad our luck has been with charms. That's a corral. Nice. Oh, and then here is the cow king. So the cow king is the only um, unique that's going to be here. Um, I think that's close to the, uh, the end. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to do this because we've kind of already got a pretty good amount of level. Um, that's souls. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice drop. Another war spear. Got some more arrows. <laughs> but uh, cow farming is um, really good. New, he says. Oh wait, I totally lied. Sorry about that. I can't carry anymore. Take that jewel. I think there's really anything else in there. Did I accidentally kill the cow king? Is that I think I did. So these gothic plates and crude field plates and superior field plates, that's where your big money or your consistent money is going to be at. Um, but you can't sell those in normal. Um, yeah, I guess I did accidentally kill the boss. Um, because there's like a bunch of stamina pots there. Uh, he drop he drops milk milk bottles. <laughs> um, because your um, your cap on selling stuff in uh, normal is you know not very much. So uh, yeah, let's stop. Can we? <clears throat> Back to Nightmare. And of course when you do this, it resets your map so our... Um Good day. Um What can I do for you? Maps will be reset. See, that's like 17 grand right there. Yeah, that was That was not Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah, if you had like um, a summoner necro, that would be really good. Summon resist, summoning skills, 
faster cast rate. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I'm percent enhanced damage. Uh. Yeah, wow, that wasn't that was totally not worth picking up. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, so, <clears throat> the next thing on our to-do list, we got that edge bow, and we've got our lore, so we need to work on our peace and our insight, and maybe a melody or a harmony, and we should be set for all of uh, nightmare mode, honestly. Good day. Oh, that's up. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, that was cows. They're uh, like I said, they're very profitable, um, especially in you know more more so in nightmare and uh, hell. But hell cows is crazy hard. Not a bad jewel. 9% enhanced damage, 5 to energy. That's a skull. Skull. Alright, I'll grab these skulls. I'm just, I'm, uh, yeah, I can't not pick up gems. Alright, so. Let us. Find <clears throat> not only uh, a locker axe, is that a pole arm? Yeah, that is a pole arm, but it's only three sockets. So we need the um, basement of terror and the um, the waypoint, and hopefully they're very close together. That would be super sweet. Yeah, I saw that. I'm not. I'm not gonna leave that. Now the <clears throat> the mobs are not very thick in here for nightmare. I I was expecting a lot more, honestly. I need mana. Her 
unraveler head. So we need um, another soul rune for sure, and then the others uh, we'll probably have to uh, do a little bit of countess farming. But you know, we're a shale and a thule is not that hard of a find. Um, so. Come on, all right, let's just roll. I have a bad feeling that our waypoint and our... Well, you know, it's they're going to have to wind up being fairly close together. Because there's, there's not anything left. The basement of doom. Wow. All right. Let's. Yes. Let's get set up here. Yeah, these were not worth carrying. this experience shrine and then let's hit the uh, basement of doom it's actually a really good map spawn um, I need to remind myself repeatedly not to uh, go back to normal what's that smell So far, nothing really great. I am overburdened.
Yeah, this has been a bust. Thank God. Needing arrows, of course. Yeah, since we've already lost our, um... Oh no. Oh no, you don't. <clears throat> yeah, since we've already lost our, uh... Experience Shrine. I'm not sure how that happened. I didn't see a, uh... I'm still getting pretty good experience from these dudes, so I'm not not totally been out of shape over it. Fire and cold. Really? Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> Alright, so this isn't a bad level 2. It's fairly close. Yeah, that cannot be frozen. Frozen would be really nice. That'll sell for a lot. So you want like a, if you're going to do a lot of Countess farming, you want like a, 
um, like all the levels to be uh, fairly compact with the entrances and exits close together and then that way you can just basically just um, yeah see this is this is a really good level Now I guess uh, I shouldn't really complain too much about our charm situation because we've been having incredibly good luck with our uh, rune drops. I mean, I crazy good. Also not what we're looking for. I am overburdened. Yeah, nothing there really really gonna be nice for us. Yeah, that cold and fire enchant, I mean, that showed, you know, like if you were a frost sorceress, like, that would be a difficult kill. I mean, you just, uh, just not having anything to really kill them with, <laughs> other than your mercenary. Oh. Ooh, a grand charm. to um, yeah all right we're just gonna max out exploding air on the off thing and like I said this is not uh, wow that's a really good level too this is not optimal leveling at all I'm just like you know like I've got an idea in my head what I want um, and then kind of as I need to drop points and shit. Hold and fire enchanted again. Wow. No! Wow. Burdened. 
Wow, this was horrible. Alright, Countess, your time is up. This will probably be an actual decent challenge. It can be pretty tough. Hmm. Oh, wait, never mind. Ooh, a doll room, uh, which we don't need. Wow, that was horrible. That was awful. <laughs> Hello. Good day. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted, uh, is a good way to describe that. Just absolutely fla uh, flabbergasted. Yeah, I'm not for sure. I'm gonna have to do a little research on finding a um, a good pike. Like, where would be a good place to find one, etc., etc. <clears throat> we don't really need a doll, I don't think, unless it's for something much, much later. Um, but we made. A bunch of money, so. All right, so now we're ready to go back in there. Um, in this Thank run, you. we're just gonna um, go just straight in there. Uh, out and Black Marsh. Make a sweep armor shrine. No, thank you. Who experienced shrine? So just, um, we're only going to kill stuff if it's on the way. Polax. Uh... That's going to be a, a super chest. These amulets could be good. just kind of want to scan stuff and see if it is a boss pack and if it is then that's really the only time you want to go out of your way oh. 
to light Anything? Um, oh, I'm not, I'm not really seeing anything there. So very good. Lightning and fire enchanted. Lovely. So I'm gonna do uh yeah I'll do one more run on screen and then I'm going to oh gosh I don't know greetings if you guys like like to watch the farming runs um I mean they get pretty boring yeah so um amulet snail uh in nightmare mode they can spawn with plus two um class skill levels so they're, they're definitely always worth picking up yeah. um yeah okay i'm gonna go and call that a video and uh, when we come back we're just gonna keep farming we're Build a couple of more. We really, really need soul runes and shell runes. <laughs> um, I would love to get another soul rune so we can make insight with that pole arm. Um, a shell thool would be nice so that we could make peace. And um, with those two, I think we'll be good. Um, shell co for melody wouldn't be bad, um, but I'm really liking the edge bow so. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and do a little research on finding a, uh, four socketed pole arm. Um, and, uh, I will be back in just a second. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, uh, and the playthrough and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>